God, oh my soul, and all that is within me, bless his holy name, for he has done great things. Father, we thank you for today. We thank you for the word that will come forth. We thank you for the ears that will hear it and the hearts that will receive it. Lord God, I give you all the praise. I give you all the honor. I thank you, God, because of who you are. You are the I am that I am. You are the King of Kings. You are the Lord of Lords. You are the conquering lion of the tribe of Judah. Good morning, world. Good morning. Good morning, wherever you are, near or far. Yes, uh, the video is freezing a bit. I think it's uh, something to do with the internet. However, I'm going to keep on plowing. Yes, good morning. Wherever you are, whatever you're doing, you're in the hospital, you're riding a bike, you're catching a plane, you're driving your car. Yes, you're standing at a bus stop. Whatever you're doing this morning, you're running in the park, you're walking your dog. Wherever you are, to the east, to the west, to the north, to the south, near or far, good morning and welcome to the word. I am your host, Letla Thompson. Yes, I've been away. Yes, I have not been on, but I've still been working in the background. I've been doing so much. There's so much to do. And sometimes, you know, when you have so much to do, you just get caught up in doing. And so this morning, I just want to say to you that I'm not gone anywhere. I am here. And so when you don't see me on here, I am out early in the morning, catching a bus, catching a car, catching something, going somewhere, doing something. Yes. So this morning, I have a word for you, a word for you from the word, of course. And your word is coming to you this morning from Deuteronomy 28. Yes, I've been studying Deuteronomy and I was up to 28 and, and yesterday and I thought this is a good word to bring forth this morning and my topic this morning for you is blessing with a but because uh, people always wonder why God don't bless me why God can't bless me but we have to start to look into our lives we have to start to see if we're doing that which he taught us to do and that which he command us to do because he gave us a promise but there's a but in between but before I do that let's just entertain ourselves with some worship yes Love upon him this morning. Love him this morning. Yes. Did you hear that? His mercy never fail. We fail him. Yes. In your hand. Yes, you've been held. From the moment that from the moment that you wake up until you lay your head. Yes. Yes, that's it. Sing of the goodness of God. Sing of his goodness this morning. Sing of his goodness. For all your life, God has been faithful. All your life he has been faithful. We are the one that has not been faithful to him. Yes. And because we're not being faithful at times, we can't see the blessings. Yes, we can't see the blessings. And sometimes we only focus on the blessings. We don't know that without the following the command without following his instructions we bring some curses into our life because God is a good God yes he is he does he led you through the fire in the darkest of night he's close in the darkest of night is the moon and the star yes he's your friend and he's my friend Oh, yes, he is. I was in the goodness of God. And now my life, he has been faithful. You just have to follow his command. You just have to follow his voice. Yes, and when you follow his voice, he will be faithful. He will be so, so good to you. You just have to follow his voice this morning. Yes, he's able. Don't you know he's able? I will sing. Minister Nash, good morning, my beautiful sister. Love you, love you, love you to pieces. Oh, yes. He's running after. He's running after. God's goodness is running after you. But are you standing long enough? Are you staying still enough? Yes. Are you staying still enough? 
to get that goodness. Yes. Are you surrendering to him this morning? Or are you, are you doing your own thing? Yes. We keep saying that we don't know what God is doing and God is not doing anything for us. But he gave us some command. He gave us some command. He gave us some promises with a but. There is some promises. And he never go back on his word. He's a God that never go back on his word. He never go back on his word. No, he does not. He's a God that is a covenant keeping God. And when he makes his promises, he gave them with a but. He said if. He said but. And so this morning, I want to say to somebody that God doesn't go back on his word he keeps his promises are you keeping yours praise be to God you have been faithful all my life he's been good he's been good he's been good all your life he's been good oh yes he is good. Yes, my sister, his goodness is going to run after you. But in order for his goodness to run after us, we have to stand in his presence. We have to follow his commandment. And so this morning, I want to say to somebody that all your life, God has been faithful. I have a word for you this morning from the word, and the word touches my heart. And so my, the leader of my prayer group, she gave us um, Deuteronomy to study and I've been studying it and I've been making notes, but I, 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 yesterday I decided that when I was reading it, so many things came into my mind, so many things came into my head. And so this morning I want to read a portion of Deuteronomy 28 for you. And as I said, my topic is blessings with a but. Now it shall be, if you will diligently obey the Lord your God, being careful to do all his commandments, which I command you today. The Lord your God will set you high above all the nations of the earth, and all these blessings shall come upon you and overtake you, if you will obey the Lord your God. So now we have diligently, and we have obey, and we have be careful, be careful. And it says, and all these blessings shall come upon you and overtake you if you will obey the Lord your God. Blessed shall you be mm -hmm, in the city, and blessed shall you be in the country, and blessed shall be the offspring of your body. Yes, blessed shall be your children, and the produce of your ground, and the offspring of your beasts, the increase of your herd, and the young of your flock. Blessed shall be your basket and your kneading bowl. Your house, your covers shall not be empty. Blessed shall you be when you come in and blessed shall you be when you go out. Hmm. The Lord will cause your enemies who rise up against you to be defeated before you. They shall come out against you one way and shall flee before you seven ways. The Lord will command the blessings upon you in your barns and in all that you put your hand to. And he will bless you in the land which the Lord your God gives you. The Lord will establish you as a holy people to himself as he swore to you. If you will keep the commandment of the Lord your God and walk in his ways. So all the people of the earth shall see that you are called by the name of the Lord. And they shall be afraid of you. And the Lord will make you abound in the prosperity, in the offspring of your body, and in the offspring of your beast, and in the produce of your ground, in the land which the Lord swore to you and your fathers to give you. The Lord will open for you his good storehouse, the heavens, to give rain to your land in its season, and to bless all the work of your hand. And you shall lend to many nations, but you shall never borrow. The Lord said, if you follow my commandments, if you obey them, if you diligently, carefully obey every single one of them, he said, he will make you abound in prosperity. And so sometimes we're fighting and we're quarreling and we're wondering and why we're not prospering, but he give us a but. He said, and the Lord shall make you the head 
and not the tail, and you only shall be above and not beneath. And if you will listen to the commandments of the Lord your God, which I charge you today to observe them carefully, and do not turn aside any of the words which I command you today to the right or to the left, to go after other gods, to serve them. Then God said, I will give you all of this. But there's a but. You see, many times we go to churches and, and they preach about the prosperity of, of Deuteronomy 28 and they preach about, oh, God's going to bless us and God's going to bless our offsprings and God's going to bless our land and God's going to bless our household and God's going to pour out on us and God's going to do this and God's going to do that. But what they don't tell you is there's a but. There is a but. Yes. Hear the but. But. <laughs> It shall come about if you will not, watch the word, obey the Lord your God to observe, to do all his commandments and to uphold all his status with which I charge you today that all these curses shall come upon you and overtake you. God says, I will bless you in your going out. I will bless you in your coming in. I will bless your children, the offspring of your womb. He said, I will open the heavens and pour out into you. He said, I will bless you in season and out of season. He said, I will bless you in the land. He said, I will make you the head and not the tail. He said, I will give you everything that your heart desire, but there's a but. He said, but there's consequences for your disobedience. There's consequences for you turning to the right or to the left. God wants us to keep focus. He wants us to keep standing. He wants our focus to be on him. And he's saying to us this morning, curse shall your bread basket that he already blessed be. Curse shall be the offspring of your body and the produce of your ground. The increase of your herd and the young of your flock. Curse shall you be when you come in and curse shall you be when you go out. And so basically God says everything that I've blessed you with. If you don't obey me, if you don't follow my commandment, if you are disobedient, there is a consequences. And so you will walk around all the days of your life. Yes, he said if you don't dwell, if you don't know how to dwell in my presence, if you don't know how to find your secret place, if you don't know how to shut in with me. He said, just as I shut the door for Noah, he said, if you allow me, I will shut some doors for you and I will prosper you and I will bless you. But when you are disobedient and when you're not careful to follow his commandment, he said, there's a but. There is a but. He said, but there is some consequences. He said, curse shall you be. Curse shall you be here. Curse shall you be. He said, he said, he will destroy you and until you perish quickly and account of the evil of your deeds because you are forsaken me. The Lord said you left me in Israel and you're gone to Egypt. God says I will not bless you when you step out of Israel and God back down in Egypt. God said for you to tell you, tell somebody this morning that yes I have blessed you and because you have walked away, because you have looked to the left, because you've gone down to the right back down in Egypt. He said I took away your blessing. Only God can take away your blessing. So no matter what anybody said, they can curse you. Only God can do that. Because he's a God of promise. He's a God that promised good and he promised bad. Some people think that he only promised you good things. But he said, I will do, I will mess you up if you are disobedient. He said, I will mess you up if you don't follow my commandment. He said, I will mess you up if you don't stand in my status. He said, I will mess you up if you go serve some other God. If you are gone down to Egypt. And so this morning I want to say to somebody, there's a blessing there is blessings, but there is also buts. Which one are you going to take this morning? Are you going to stand on the blessings? Or are you going to focus on the but? I want to read a little bit more. He said, the Lord will smite you with consumption <laughs> and with fever and with inflammation and with fiery heat. Oh, God Almighty. He, he, he gave you the blessings that he give you is enough to sustain you. Is enough but because of your disobedient he's giving you more in the curse than he even give you in the blessing you see you only need a little bit of blessing to be sustained 
But a whole heap of curse coming when you disobey. He said, the Lord will smite you with that. He said, with the sword and with the blight and with mildew. And they shall pursue you until you perish. And the heaven which is over your head shall be bronze. And the earth which is under you iron. Can you imagine? You have bronze above your iron below you. How you going to breathe? How you going to live? My God Almighty, the Lord will make the rain of your land powder and dust. It will choke you to death. Yes. Yes. From heaven it shall come down on you until you are destroyed. See that? The Lord will cause you to be defeated before your enemies. You shall go out one way against them, but you shall flee seven ways before them. So instead of them fleeing before you, you go and turn around and flee before them because of your disobedience. So I want to say to somebody this morning, the Lord gave me a word, and the word is, this is the year of restoration. And so in order for God to restore you, that's why he's a great God. That's why he give us grace. That's why he's a compassionate God. Because he know that some of us are gone to the left and to the right. But because of his grace and his mercy, he's given us the opportunity to turn back and to hit the straight road. To hit the narrow road so that he can bring us back to where we ought to be. Yes, God is a great God. And so this morning, if you have gone to the left or to the right, Get back on track and stay focused. Get back on track and put your focus on him. Because the word of God says that he will smite you. The word of God said he will cause terror. The word of God says your carcass shall be food to the bird. You shall be food to the junkro. God said you shall be food to the bird. Who, 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 which, 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 the vulture is the one who eat dead meat. God said you shall be dead meat. And so this morning you better rise up. And so when he, he wants to restore restore you but in order to restore you you better repent i want to say to somebody this morning god is calling you back to the altar i want to say to somebody this morning god is calling you to repentance and so you are to repent because when you repent because of his goodness because of his of his grace because all your life has been there for you he will turn around and give you all the blessings again and so this morning i want to say to you this is a year of restoration but you have a part to play in being restored. You have a part to play in getting the blessings. You need to get rid of the butts. You need to get rid of the butts. And so this morning, I just want to thank you all for joining me. I pray the Lord will keep you. I pray that this word, I pray this word will, 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 will touch your heart. I pray that you will know that he is God. And so... I want to say a big, big, great, big thank you to all of you from Eagles Wings Outreach Ministries International. Yes, we are Eagles Wings. That is the ministry that God has laid on my heart, and I am going to start to, um, to, to, to speak it. And you know, this morning I was ironing my dress, and sometimes God bless you, and you don't use the blessing that God give you. And this morning I was ironing my dress to go on the road. And I hear the Lord said to me, I have blessed you. I have given you, I, I don't normally use title, but I start to realize that if God bring you where he give it to you, it's yours, it's a blessing. And so now I used to say, just call me Letla. No, I am Pastor Letla Thompson. I'm going to use it because God gave it to me and I used to be afraid to use it. I'm going to step it up a notch and I am Pastor Letla Thompson. So I want to say to you this morning, welcome again and good afternoon and good day and good night wherever you are because it's night in some part of the world and there's day in some part and there's afternoon in some part of the world and this is your host, Pastor Letla Thompson. Have a wonderful day. Love you, love you, love you.